wild animal. Big fearsome bear and he's shivering right now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this big fearsome bear is really one of three baby cubs <laughs> from a den in the middle of Allegheny County. Experts try to keep the young cub warm. One, two, three. <laughs> while biologists from the Department of Environmental Conservation do some research on the sedated mama bear. Today's supervised outing is part of the department's public outreach effort to inform locals about the increasing bear population in New York State. Well, we figured this time of year we probably have around 6,000 bears across New York State. And they're primarily found in three ranges. Uh, the Adirondack Range, the Catskill Range, and what we call the Allegheny Range, which is in western New York, and that's where we are today. Historically, the habitat of black bears has been restricted to forests of a thousand acres or more. But the rising population has forced them to find new places to live, increasing the contact between black bears and humans. While these cubs appear to be cute and cuddly, they are wild and will one day grow to be large, powerful animals. It's the department's mission to clear up public misconception about sharing their space with the black bear. Uh, people like having bears around. They like to see bears. Uh, but bears also get into bird feeders, get into garbage, and they get into farmers' uh, crops and cause damage. Okay, got it. Down. Biologists can do a number of things to monitor bear behavior. In the field, they weigh the mother bear, take samples for further research, and in some cases, change a radio collar around her neck. This is a brand new one. She's been wearing hers since June of 02, and this little canvas job is so that it expands and grows with the bear. Biologists can't do it alone. Local landowners play a big part in understanding the role of black bears in a residential community. If bears start becoming a problem, people have to realize it's, it's a community problem. So uh, everybody has to take into account the increase in bear population in, in the area. Bear hug. <laughs> It's important to understand that the handling of both the mother bear and the cubs in this story was done under the supervision of trained biologists and other experts within the Department of Environmental Conservation. The DEC does not condone or promote approaching or handling bears. You should never handle any wildlife for your own safety and for that of the animal.